All right, here's my beautiful table and my ugly mug. Um, a lot of times uh, I see um, people complaining or, or, or asking how they can get their their uh, find models or missing models or fix broken tables and stuff like that. And I was farting around with something the other day because in my last Parsec game, a cool table that I had built, or not built, but stole some parts from, this one here, Gasland Refueled. I'm going to load this sucker up. It's going to make a bunch of noise. Probably have to turn the volume off really quickly. But look at all the errors that pop up. Now, this is going to teach you sort of what mod caching is and does and show you how to fix some stuff by how to find it on your computer. That's what we're going to do here. Under the menu button at the top, if you go to configuration, you'll see right here I have mod caching on. So with mod caching on, what that does is it stores the mods on your disk to speed up loading. If you're the game master, turn this off because what's going to happen is you're going to load a game up and some of the models, if they are broken or the links are missing, will look fine to you, but other people will just see them as just white objects if they're missing the images. For example, there was a thing with uh, Tiny Pick that uh, when it went offline or something like that, a lot of people that had stored models or, or sorry, images on Tiny Pick but models somewhere else, the models would show up. So you would have rocks that would just be wrapped in white, blank, kind of paper looking stuff. Uh, so that's what mod caching does. It basically, if you have it engaged or clicked on, when you load something, rather than search the internet for it through the link, it's going to load it off your hard drive. So as a game master, you want that off. That way you'll be able to tell whether or not your uh, scene, your scenario, whatever it is you're working on is actually 100% functionable. Um, so right now it's on while I loaded this and you'll see that there's there's a couple errors. These things I can't fix. So the custom table, um, it's looking for a picture called desert.jpg. I searched for it, I couldn't find it. So you can't fix everything but custom background, this was also loaded off of his OneDrive. Um, I did a search on my hard drive for this 4K tone map, and I couldn't find it either. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this model is, and I'm just going to delete it for shits and giggles, but essentially this is what the table sh would look like. Um, what you're going to see is over here there's this gas station, and this is sort of just the one thing that I'm going to show you because I want this to be quick. It, I'm not going to do them all. It applies to everything. But this was a cool-ass gas station stuffed in the corner, and I wanted to use it. The problem is, is I run, because I'm the game master and I needed to use it, I'm turning mod caching off. If I go to games uh, and save and load, let's say I just need to load my work table so it clears this out. This is the gas station with mod caching off. It's showing you there. If I go to uh, uh, back to that, now that I've loaded a separate table in you're, and mod caching is turned off, you're going to see that I have way more errors. Instead of just one error, I have probably 10 or 12 errors, things that are missing. And if I scooch or close some of these off, boop, 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 let's close some of these and load back in. You'll see when I zoom in, oh yeah, way to prove me wrong, stupid piece of crap once again. This should not be here. I'm not sure why it is, but these objects are usually just gone. And what you'll see my, my mod caching, I did turn it off, didn't I? Yeah. What you'll see is just a green ball. It's weird how sometimes when I do these videos and it just doesn't work out like you expect it to be, but this would normally be a green ball and you would get the link. The, this is how you fix these problems. So if you, if you can go to mod caching and turn mod caching on and then reload it and it shows up as not an error but the actual object, just right click on it. That means that you have it saved on your hard drive somewhere. So you want to right click on it and I'm going to call this gas station and then I'm going to hit save object and I'm going to save it in my root folder. Now I've already done this. So with mod caching on uh, configuration or you can actually even just do it now if it's showing up you can right click and hit custom. I gotta close all these down. Maybe it'll disappear if I close these stupid things down. No. Nope. Okay. Right click on the gas station, hit custom. Here's the links. 
So what I do is I'm going to say model mesh. I'm going to right click on this and hit control C. And I'm going to paste it into a notebook call or notepad plus plus. So if I go to uh, right monitor, you'll see over here that I have it listed there. So what I would do is I would just say, okay, control V. This is obviously going to be the same as the top one. Back to TTS and take the second one, which is the image. Control C back to uh, the right monitor. We're going to just paste this in here and we're just going to keep doing the same stupid thing over until I have all three. Control C, Control V, and you'll see that if I highlight this piece of it, it should all show up on its deal. Control C. They're the same. 698, 698. Oh, wait a second. got to get over to the right freaking monitor. Uh, you will see that these pieces are the same. 698, see how they're all highlighted in a row? That's because I've, I've already done this one time. So now that I have that information, I'm going to go back to my main table because I don't want to listen to all this fire and stuff in the back. We're going to go workshop, work table, load, loading complete, mod caching is on. Here's the, here's the model. Do, 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 do. All right, so I have the model, mod caching's on, it's loaded from my, from my hard drive instead of from the internet, and now I need to go about trying to figure out how to find this thing. So what I found is, in my dinking around, is that you can, if I go over back to the right monitor now, if you take this, these numbers right here, just the, highlight the numbers in the bracket, and hit, uh, the top one is gonna be the model, control, Control C, and then I'm going to bust out my. You will find all of your mods in documents, um, depending on if you've changed it, but it should be in my documents and it'll be under a file called uh, My Games right here. Under My Games, here's your tabletop simulator. Double click on that, and we're just going to do a search. So, up in the top, we're going to hit star because that will help you search for everything in front of it is random. Control V, you just paste in the text and hit star again. Uh, if you're not familiar with how to search stuff, what this means is it means I don't care what's in front of this, find this number and I don't care what's behind it. It's random in front or whatever, you know, irrelevant in front, find me this number, irrelevant how it ends. And then hit enter. It's going to do a search and voila, look at that, it pulled it up. So what it's telling me is that this file here, I'm not sure, I don't know what the raw is. I'm not, don't profess to be a tabletop master, but this is the object file, which means that it's the, the shell of the gas station. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to hit control C and move it to my downloads directory and hit control V. Now let's put it down here. And you can see that what I've done, it's already here. It's, and I've renamed it. F2 is rename. I'm going to call it, you know, gas station model or whatever so that I know what it is. I'll just put two beside it because I've done it already. Um, now that I have the gas station model, what I want to do is I want to go back to my notepad and I want to find the second file, which is going to be the image or the wrapper for the object. So if I hit control C on this and go back to my documents, back to my games, back to tabletop simulator, and I do the same thing, star, control V, star, it's going to find anything on my hard drive that relates to that. Again, if somebody knows what these raw and raw T files are, throw comments down in the bottom, that'd be sweet, but you, here's the image. So this is, you can tell just by looking at it, it's the wrapper for the object. So again, all I would do is control C to copy this. I don't want to delete it or move it. And I'm going to move it to my downloads directory. You can see that I've already done it. I've called it gas station image. Now I have the model and I have the image file. And then lastly, you'll see that under the notepad that the model and the image file are the same. Right. This would be uh, this was sorry the collider. This is the collider part, and it's the same as this one here. So it it's it doesn't make a difference. So then what you do is you go back to your tabletop stimulator, 
and you want to go to your modding and your cloud manager. Now, what I've done and how I figured this out is I, I did it with some of the objects that were on that. And I was like, oh, man, this works pretty sweet. Um, there's a lot of here's the little cargo trailer. Um, I know that's under something else. I did it. Here it is again. See, these two objects are the same because I renamed this one. So there's the travel trailer. There's the travel trailer map that's on there. That thing's missing. But here's the gist of it. Once you go here, you want to hit upload local file. Uh, you can't see it, so I'm going to move this over to my right monitor. I'll be scooching back and forth, right monitor. And this pops up. So when this pops up, you go to your downloads folder. And then you scroll down to the bottom. And you choose the object or the image, either or. And upload them. You just click on them and then upload. I'll do model 2 because I know I don't have it. Open. Back to my tabletop stimulator. And it says upload this file. And I hit yes. It's going to upload that to this modding thing. And it puts it right there. There's gas station model 2. Now what I highly recommend doing. For some reason this went weird on mine. Is when you put it into your cloud manager, your cloud manager is going to basically reassign it a new deal. So this gas station model object two, when I click on this, you see the blue thing drop down and it's given it a new Steam cloud file name kind of a deal, right? You're going to use those. You're going to replace the broken links in this model with ones that are working that you upload. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just delete this because I don't want it in there. My OCD will kick in. And we are going to create a new model. If I right click on this and I hit custom, you'll see that this is just a custom model. You can create your own custom models by going to game or to objects. And then just type in model. And then anything that pops up with model, it's right here. You click on this, drop it down in the table. And then when you right click, here you go. It's going to ask you for this information. So you go back to modding, go to your cloud manager, wherever you put the file, we are going to do gas station object, model mesh object. This is the file that you want. I will move this out of the way. And in the model mesh, we'll hit control V to paste that. There's the image. So the image goes in this slot. And then the object, like I showed you before, the object is the same as the model mesh. So the collider will be the same as the model mesh. Control V. As long as the model, the collider can be different. I'll show you in a second what I mean by that. And then once this is done, we hit import and boom. Now this one, when I look at this one, compared to this one, if I hit custom, you will see that this one ends with AD3. This one should end with a different one because it's drawn from mine. Oh, it's renamed it to the exact same thing. But the thing is, is that because this is come, this comes from something that I've uploaded. If I turn mod caching off, this will now load from my, my steam, my modding, cl my cloud manager is what I meant to say. I didn't even have to throw in a whatchamacallit there. And uh, then you can just save it or do your thing. And that's how you recover files. I've done quite a few of them. Uh, a bunch of the, the houses and the buildings and stuff like that. Because on one of the maps, menu, uh, it doesn't really matter. On one of the maps, um, these tables or these houses that I wanted to use, like the day before I went to use the... Uh, the map, all of the houses broke and I spent an entire day on Saturday trying to figure out how to get these things back because I knew they would be here somewhere. But yeah, that's a, a, a way to sort of recover some of the broken elements. It doesn't always work. You can't always get all of them. But if you can find it with mod caching turned on, you should be able to repair it by doing exactly what I just showed you how to do. And that's it for this one. Try and keep it short and sweet. All right, everybody. Peace out.